Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another video. I hope y'all are doing well. I've got a few days off work unplanned. So yeah, y'all are getting a bonus video. Um, I have been filming and filming and filming for y'all. So I hope you enjoy the upcoming videos. There might be like this one, a bonus one here or there. I generally, um, you know, share videos about three times a week now that I'm working. And now I have a little bit of extra time. So guess what? You get me. Yay. Okay. So yes, I hope y'all are doing well. And uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you can get notified the next time a video of mine comes out. So let's get started, okay? I've got a, um, a couple things I wanna share with you today. One being this lovely happy mail that I have not gone through yet. So thank you so much. This is from a subscriber, Helen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, okay, the poor dear, the poor dear, right? I get the, like this envelope came in a box, okay? When I got the box, it literally looked like someone had run it over um, the poor thing. And then as at closer inspection, it looked like somebody had opened it. Somebody had like opened it and then sealed it back up. Not very nicely. I might add, right. With packing tape. And then I, then this was inside of it. And then this is how it looked like there's, there are addresses, but this is how it looked, right? Like someone had tore into it, okay? I don't know what happened. I love all these stickers though. Thank you again. So let's just dig in and see what sweet Helen sent. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she knows that I love pink. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, I see some fun stuff. And I did, you know, like I texted her and let her know that I got her package, but it was a little worse for wear, let me tell you. Um, but I think I might know what happened. I'm not sure, okay? Because in here, look what she sent me, E6000, okay? This is glue and, um, oh, she says that she's even used it on jewelry and it held, just make sure the threads are clean before you put the lid on. Oh, okay. I will do, I will do. Yeah, this is great because she knows that I always have trouble, especially like with the cellophane packages, sorry if there's a glare, that my husband, you know, he gives me flowers all the time. And um, I always like to keep the cellophane and then I have the hardest time trying to put it on. So maybe this will work. So thank you so, so much. And that might be the reason, I don't know, that maybe the post office opened up the box. I'm not really sure. I don't know. You know how they ask you like if there's liquid or you know whatever. So who knows? See, I'm not sure. But maybe they maybe the post office opened it. And look how cute this is, right? Oh my goodness. I can put all kinds of stuff in here. Pens, you name it. This will go in my to-go bag, right? Oh, that's pretty washy. Ooh. This is pretty pretty washy. Look at that. It's like rainbow with gold on it. That's beautiful. Very boho. Oh, I love it. That's so pretty. I don't have anything like that. And then this. Oh, how cute. Let's do it. Best ever. Sweet life. Get things done. That's super cute. Thank you. Oh, oh look how cute. It's a gem page marker. Isn't that adorable? Right? Like it's magnetic. Oh, I love that. That is adorable because she knows how to call my kids my gems. Yes, why? Because they are precious. They are precious. So cute. And then, oh, look how sweet this is. A little notepad, right? Because she knows that I love me some notepads. Yes, I do. Oh, I like that. And I love this too. Like I can just cut this off and put it on a page. Yeah, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna stick these back in here because they're loose. They're not like in a pad. So I don't wanna lose them. Oh, how lovely. Oh, look at that. Heidi Swap, these are um, stickers. Aren't they adorable? 
with um, flamingos and pineapples. Oh, I love this. Oh, time clocks, I can use that. Oh, very sweet. Little packages, just little like planner stickers. Oh, look at all the shoes. So cute. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's very gold and glittery. I don't know if you can see that or not. Thank you so much. These are adorable. And yet, oh, I love flowers. And they will get used. Look at that. That's upside down. Isn't that funny? Be nice. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cute. Let's see here. Um, very nice. So this is going to be a happy mail and like a haul video. Okay. So this is from Sweet Helen. Oh, look at those beautiful napkins. Those are so gorgeous. And these are like a fall ones, you know, apple, pumpkin, spice, leaves, hot cider. So cute. Very nice. And then these are some really cute stickers. Look at those. Home, families. Oh, you know I'm all about family. Oh, and here's some on the back too. Dance, focus on the good. Little ballet slippers. I don't know how long she's been watching me, but I used to dance ballet. Yes, I did. Okay, and then she sent um, this file folder of things I do believe she must have been collecting, which is just so, so sweet. Thank you so much. So let's dig into this. I don't know how long this video is going to go for because the other part of it is um, like an odd kind of haul. You'll see in a minute. <clears throat> These are magazine clip clippings. Pink Alicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because she knows I love pink. Isn't that funny? You know, it's interesting because um, something is on my chair and sticking me on my leg. All right, get off of there. Um, because, let's see, oh, these are small little, oh, running shoes, oh, walking, oh, nice, oh, so cute, oh, like little puppy stuff, thinking pink, yeah, it's funny because I don't wear much pink in my clothing, but... I definitely use pink when I am eat creating. I, I love pink. I don't know why. It's very odd. Oh, I saw an act of faith today. A man was on his knees, not in a pew in a church, but in a garden planting seeds. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. These are so sweet. I love clippings. I use them all the time. Here are some pink rosettes. Tickled pink. So cute. Hello, gorgeous. Lovely. Oh, what a sweet little dress. Some flowers. Just a bunch of magazine clippings. So, I don't know how this goes. How does this go? Oh, a little pink dress. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at these. That's pretty. I can fussy cut those out and put on something. Oh, here's some lace and ribbons and whatnot. That's so pretty. Roses. Oh, so pink and lovely. Oh, I love those. And again, I use magazine clippings for so many things. And these would be just fabulous, like, reference photos, you know. Cute pink hair. Oh, I've done this. The chalk thing to for pink. Yeah, I've done it for breast cancer before. Oh, those are cute little sneakers. Some flowers. Fruit basket. So cute. Oh, Oh, a garden is a grand teacher. It teaches patience and careful watchfulness. It teaches industry and thrift. Above all, it teaches entire trust. Oh, very nice. I like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And in my new journaling endeavors, which I hope to um, start in January, I am going to be, I think, just doing a miss, uh, no, miss, Mish, a mishmash, uh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's like what they call slow stitching, I guess. I don't know, but it's gorgeous. That's beautiful to put, oh my goodness. That would be beautiful to put on a journal. Look at all these threads and whatnot. I might even use some of these to decorate the front of my covers because I really would like to try to do um, sort of in the style of 
Melanie Sullivan, and I'll leave her link below. She's very new to me, and I'm so glad that I found her. Um, in fact, we were talking about her. <laughs> Sorry, Melanie. Um, last night, I was watching Allison's from AJ's Inspired Life, her first live. It was so fun. Oh my gosh, I love that girl. I love her. And it was so super fun. And anyway, we were talking about Melanie Sullivan and how much we all love her journals and whatnot. This is a gorgeous picture right here. Yarn, little vintage doll, uh, ceramic doll, and some fat cords. Oh my gosh, I love that. Ooh, I love this too. Ugh. Like, so I think my next journal for next year, even though that's not what this video is about, I want my journals to be more... I guess organic, like obviously I'm gonna journal about my day and everything, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I just wanna put things that I love in it. You know what I mean? Like this stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this. I know like my sister-in-law's, like mother-in-law makes aprons. Oh my gosh, and they're so adorable. That's so cute. I would definitely fussy cut that out. Oh, I love that. These are beautiful. This is from wherewomencreate.com. What a pretty magazine and the pages are lovely. Okay, why we walk. Oh man, I was gonna get up today and walk and then I got to talking to my husband and I did not. That's beautiful background paper there. More about walking. What's your walking style? Lovely. Lovely. And then this little, oh, that's so beautiful. Wouldn't you love to have that in your backyard? I don't even know if y'all can see it. Look at that. I'd love to have that in my backyard. Thank you so much, Helen. I really appreciate it. I am gonna use so many of these beautiful, beautiful images. Oh, I love it. Either that or I can do an entire glue spread on pink or on this type of stuff. Oh, I love it. Ooh, can't wait, can't wait. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my, of my heart. I do appreciate it so much. Your thoughtfulness, your generosity, and that goes to everybody, everybody. Thank you so much. I cannot wait. And I don't think you let me know. I do not think anything was missing from the package. Honestly, they might have seen this and the post office might have opened it up. I don't know. I don't know. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now you see my messy desk. Let's get something else up here. Look what happened over the weekend. You guys are gonna not believe it. Can you see that? Okay. <coughs> Cough, sorry. This is one bag of so many, okay? Of so many different things, right? Now, I'm just going to take a bunch out. All right, so my in-laws, right? And I'm gonna definitely be making some packs of Happy Mail. I'm gonna have to because I've got cards coming out the wazoo, all right? I am so happy and so thrilled, it's not even funny. So my in-laws um, just purchased a house um, and they were up there this weekend doing the closing and whatnot. And the lady who lived there was 90 years old, okay? And I guess the family moved her closer to them, I think is what happened. At any rate, my in-laws were up there cleaning out the house, right? Because they just took what they wanted and left literally everything else. Like, I mean, I'm talking a lot. And so they were busy up there all weekend cleaning stuff up. And my mother-in-law, sweet as she is, she texted me and she was like, oh, this lady has like hundreds of cards here is it something you could use, you know, for your crafts? And I said, oh, yes, yes, please, please, you know. And then she texted me again and she says, oh, she has a lot of books and everything too. Do you want those? And I said, yes, like anything paper, I'm, I'm all for, you know, anything for paper. Oh, my gosh. So let's just see what, like, look at that. Okay, those cute little puppies, all right? Oh my word, and the envelope, right? I mean, get well soon. Look at these beautiful envelopes. I, you know, like, I don't know if there's a date on them. They, uh, you know, they're pretty new, it seems to me. But look at those graphics, how beautiful those are. And she kept, I mean, look at them. They're all kept with the, 
oh my gosh oh this is 2015 so yeah they're not vintage or anything but how cute would they be you know to use it for journaling in your journal or whatever oh my goodness with the envelopes no less okay look how beautiful that is i mean i'm talking hundreds folks hundreds okay more puppies boy oh boy this lady thinking of you i might take a bunch of these out and send to my like send them to my grandmother like each week you know send some look at that with a little bookmark oh my gosh i'm not gonna go through every one but i mean look at how sweet right with a pretty yellow envelope with the oh my gosh and let me just oh this one's in plastic the envelopes are all cute like look how adorable oh my word thinking of you these would be so great now i haven't really like dug into it to see if there are any like christmas ones but every single envelope is decorated i mean these would be so flipping adorable in a journal oh my gosh look at that one. Oh, thinking of you today now this looks vintage it was only 50 cents I can tell you that I do believe Wow so some of these might be vintage I don't know these are just adorable look at these get well ones more get well this is obviously vintage it looks like to me you can just tell yeah wow oh my gosh okay so you get the picture okay like so many cards okay Ooh, we dog okay then now th this came and this might be like super de duper glary right okay this came let's see what's in here <gasps> christmas oh my gosh all of these i don't know what this is oh my gosh replacement bulbs 79 cents at walgreens wow here's a bunch more if i need any replacement bulbs which i don't because i never use colored lights i only use white look at that I wish they had a date, but this was a dollar. So, you know, judging by like how much cards are today, can you even see all that? I don't even know. Yeah, look at all these Christmas cards. These would go famously in a Christmas journal. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, how fun. How fun are those? <gasps> oh my gosh, yeah, so here are the Christmas ones. <gasps> Oh, these are postcards. Look at that. American Greetings. I don't know what year. It just says made in the United States. There is no year. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. But it's in Roman numerals. And there's a... Let's see. 10, 20, 34. That can't possibly be 1934. No, maybe 84. Maybe 1984. Because there's a 50, 60, 70, 84. Yeah, these might be 84, but I mean, look how cute those are. Oh my goodness. These, I might even just use, honestly, I might use these to send out um, for my crafty friends just because they're so cool, you know, for Christmas. And then some seals. Oh, look at that. There's another one. Yeah, let me see here. No, this is, this is 1980. Wow. Those are adorable. Okay. And then she had a few up here in the top as well. All Christmas. And who knows? I mean, I'm telling you what, I have bags and bags of cards. So unbelievable. Okay. I am so thankful to my mother-in-law for showing me or bringing these back home. You should have seen the back of her van it was like just chock full of bags. Okay. That I still have to go through then guess what we're gonna go through this puppy together okay can you see it it's a magazine a plastic magazine holder which of course I can always use and then it's filled with magazines and all kinds of stuff um, yeah 
bags and bags of books and you name it. Okay, I hope there are no bugs in here. Just saying. Okay, look at this. Medical, huh. I don't even know what this is. A baby book, huh. Let's see. It's from 1962, New York, <clears throat> New York State Department of Health. Here's more. Wow, these are cool. 1964. And then we have a bunch of these, like Afghans and crochet books. These are super cool. Uh, 1980. But look how fun that is. Looks like it's a little water damage, but let me... Nothing smells funky, so... Here's 1983 magazine. How fun is that? Oh my gosh. All of these. Look, look at Vanna White. Oh my word. That's fun. <gasps> Macrame. <gasps> Look how fun that is. Oh my gosh. 1976. Oh my word. I remember making these like these plant things when I was a teenager. Oh my goodness. How fun is that? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or give it away or what, but Oh my gosh, that's such a fun book. And what a great shape, because it's going um, landscape, you know. Here's more macrame. Apparently, she liked macrame. Let's see if there's a copyright. 1976. And it's held together by masking tape. How fun are those pages to put in a journal? Oh my goodness, more macrame. Boy, this lady was into the macrame. Oh, look how fun though that page is for a Christmas book. Oh, more macrame. Oh my goodness. Yeah, in the oh, class of 78, more macrame. I don't know what the date is. 1976. Wow. Decorating and crafting ideas. Oh my, look at those, ad, okay, you never see that, okay, in advertisements anymore. Look at how these people are dressed. Oh my goodness, I don't even know, does this have a date on it? It has to, 1979. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? Look at those pretty little things. Oh my goodness. Oh, again, you never see that. Never in a magazine. Oh, these are fun. Simplicity. Oh my goodness. I don't know. This was only a dollar. I don't know what the year is. Let's see if it has a year. Copyright 1972. A sewing book. Oh my gosh, look at those pants. Can you say polyester, folks? Look at that. Oh my God, could you imagine wearing that? Oh my goodness, this is fun. What a fun, and then back here, or here even, these pages are like very matte, right? These would be awesome. Oh my gosh, I might have to put like, I don't know, tell me what you think. Should I put like together some paper packs or something? I don't know. This is not for sale, automotive handbook. Okay, this is from New York. 1982, look at that. Oh my gosh, let me know what I should do with this stuff. Oh, mile a minute Afghan. <laughs> These are like just um, photocopied from a magazine, I'm guessing. This was 1990, oh my word. And look at that, Santa's Express. I mean, I wish that it, you know, was the magazine itself. How fun would that be for a Christmas journal? Oh my word, more macrame. Boy, this lady was really into it. Fun. And just more of these papers here. And these are really cool. They're not photocopies, so they are, oh, it's the same as this, but it doesn't feel like a photocopy. Or maybe it is, and it's just very yellowed and old. Oh, those would be fun in a book. More Christmas. Oh, this is like 
Oh, this is like a free leaflet. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Huh? Uh, crocheting. Look at those ladies. Oh my word. Copyright 50, 60, 79. So this is 1979. Those are great pages to use in a journal. Just saying. Okay, I don't know what, <gasps> what this is. Oh gosh, I hope there's nothing personal in here. I don't know the woman at all, but here's like notepad, a notepad with her writing on it, I guess. I don't even know what it says. I can't read it, but wow. Uh, worms, I don't know. This is all like horticulture and stuff. These things, those are, they're just interesting papers, right? Tropical gardening. She won an award or someone did. So this must have been her gardening like little booklet, but it has such cool things in it, like old papers and such. Look at that, tropical horticulture, that's cute. Splitting of citrus fruits, wow. That's so cool. So all of this, right? And from this house, from this 90-year-old lady, I mean, can you imagine? And I literally have, I mean, boxes and boxes to go through. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I don't know. All of that. Oh, my goodness. Plus the lovely happy mail from Helen. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, as I go through this stuff, I might pop on and do another bonus video of things that I have found in the gigantic pile that my mother-in-law brought me home. So it was very sweet of her to think of me and bring it all home. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to go through. So I hope you enjoyed that little looky-loo of this ginormous haul I got from my mother-in-law. Um, and again, the lovely happy mail from Helen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let me know if anything was missing, Helen. I don't think there was. So again, thank you so much. And I will chat at y'all real soon. Have a great rest of your day and a wonderful week. And I really hope all of that was in frame for you. Bye for now.